States. Congratulations. Coach Norman's team was very different from uh, this one I prepared, this one I'm trying to do your best. You're going up obviously against a team that's going to bring the whole crowd down and then Cliff Hodge threw the gauntlet when he said he wanted to play Nebra and its crowd. How are you going to prepare your team for such a scenario where, you know, basically <laughs> the whole Coliseum is yeah. rooting against you? I'm not sure if that was politically politically correct what Cliff said, but um, this is his first time in the championship, so I forgive him for that, but uh, be careful what you ask for. Um, Look, I've, I've played against Hinebra for a long time. I've coached against him for a long time. I go back to my playing days when some of my best games were against the Hinebra team, and I enjoy playing against the crowd. I really do. Uh, the way I look at it, they paid their money to come see me play, so um, I like to go out and perform well, and hopefully they'll respect me for that, and I hope my players do the same in this series. I think it's going to be an interesting series because they're a well-coached team. We like to think we're also a well-coached team. They're very talented. Um, because they're missing one key player, it gives it a little bit more balance. Um, they're missing Greg Slaughter, so we don't really have that height disadvantage we would have had if he was around. So we can match up a little bit better inside the paint. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to be a good series. We know they bring a lot of fans, but everybody's used to that already. I've been used to that for 32 years already, listening to Hidden that bra, Hidden that bra. <laughs> Cliff Hodge, before Game 5, um, he he was asked who he wanted to face in the finals. Um, and he said Hinebra because he really wanted to play against the crowd. What can you say about that? Well, I mean, uh, that's, you know, well, whenever people ask me who I want to play, uh, and I, I really try to blank my mind. Yeah. I don't want to know because oftentimes uh, you have to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> and I remember one time where I was hoping and hoping and hoping this other team would win mm -hmm. and because I didn't want to play the other team mm -hmm. and then we played that team and then they beat us really badly so yeah. you know it, it those kind of things you know they I guess they're uh, they, call, they call it billboard material mm -hmm. you know he wants to play us but I don't think it's just us necessarily he wants to play against the big mm -hmm. crowds and yeah it's fun it's yeah. fun you know we used to when I was with Alaska I used to love playing with uh, uh, against Ginebra, and I was with Pure, Sam Egg, our, you know, our best, you know, the, the Manila Classico. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I can truly understand why you would want to play us. You're gonna go up against uh, Ginebra. Yeah. What do you think of the series, the crowd and all? Uh, we, it's definitely going to be an exciting crowd. Um, of course, they're not they're not going to be in our favor uh, <laughs> because. A majority of the, the fans here in the Philippines are Hinebra fans, but at the same time, I feel like it's a great opportunity to kind of play that uh, that villain role. Um, I know Kobe just retired, and that was one of the things that he, he mentioned during, throughout his career, is that he played the, the role of the villain uh, a lot of times. So, I, you know, I, I kind of go into this series with that same mentality that, uh, you know, it's okay to be the villain, and it's okay to to embrace that that role that um, you know the, the odds are going to be against you and uh, I feel like that will kind of bring out the competitive spirit a lot more not just me but my, uh, my whole team.